Hello, my name is Mordred, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 32 of this Let's Play Prophecy of Pendor 3.7063. Yeah. As you may be able to hear, I am feeling slightly better, and hopefully will not be coughing quite as much. So, dialogue should be a little more smooth this time. Now, in the previous episode, I did ask uh, your opinions on who to join as a vassal, and one or two of you suggested the Feared Vein. Okay, it was more than just one or two. In total we had Demon Blackfire, Nick Elliott, First Pogo, Paxton and Danny van der Westhosen um, suggesting Feared Vein, and some pretty good suggestions were given for that. Uh, the one which really sold it for me was that it will allow us to build up some positive relations with the Feared Vein as we join fights with them against their enemies. And yeah, that, that was a very good point. So that is what we are going to do. It also means that we are entering kind of the next phase of this game. No longer just running around with companions. We are going to start raising an army and training them up. That is a lot of Singalian slavers. Chase me so I can lead you away. We will also probably start doing a few quests for the uh, local villagers. And Ravenstone is getting their ass handed to them apparently. I can't say I disapprove. Don't have any. Do, do, do. Talk to him again. I thought you could sell stuff to him as well. Why is that not appearing? Well, maybe it's just because I don't have any. That could well be. Don't want the nobles. Marketplace goods. And sell these. So slightly less valuable than I thought, so we're making about 300 profit. Yeah, I think I might replace the Janos one to something else. I mean, we'll sell them here, but we'll take the dates. Those are ridiculously cheap. guess we'll go up to 100. We'll go back to Janos, and then we'll go and do the, uh, the Fear to Fain thing. I just want to do that while we're over on this side of the map, because once we're with the Fear to Fain, we're going to be stuck over, and over there for quite a long time, I think. No! <laughs> um, hmm. That's kind of ruined my plans. I kind of suspect I know where that happened. As you can see, send a fall fell to the Feared's Vein. Which is good, because one, I want the Feared's Vein to be quite strong. I likely will be a vassal and then eventually a, sorry, a mercenary and then eventually a vassal. I will then um, forswear my oath, so um, basically give it up rather than rebel. And my plan is to kind of hit on Ravenstone as much as we can while we're in the Feared's Vein. So that Ravenstone is small and then we can attack Ravenstone and take it. Um, and basically launch the Kingdom of Pendor from there. That's the plan anyway. And you know how plans often survive first contact with the enemy. They don't. It's the answer there. Okay, Janos. We are going to the die works. Can we just tell you to stop doing stuff? How does this work? Let's check the inventories. Nothing there. Good. This one. Oh, we actually get money back? Cool. I've never actually had to do that before, so I had no idea you actually get money back. We only lost 1,800, which is okay. So, we want to buy more land. What do we want? The other one which a lot of people say is good is this one. So we'll make 571 a week. I think that sounds reasonable. We will do that instead. Okay. And we'll start selling these dates. Yep. A bit of profit. Not massive, but hey, I'll take it. Dyes are pretty cheap too. We'll take them while we're here. And tavern. We've already checked all of these people. Oh, speaking of the uh, mercenary sergeants over there, who was it? It was Beanie Walrus Zero Zero. I was talking about the Melatine Guards, who I believe were introduced in the latest patch, or at least we've like sorted out the Melatine Free Brother um, upgrade path. Um, free Brothers are mercenary troops that you can hire, and yeah, he was saying that Imperial Guards are really cool. I'm so pleased that we're able to get more of the Melatine forces in, so that you can actually play with them now. Um, obviously the new major factions for Pendor 4 were 
a significant amount of work was done for them and they were actually probably the nearest completion to any of the other features so the melatines were basically done and our artists there did really really good work on them the other faction that we almost completed were called the Ashenborn Empire now there's a bit of a hint in the name as to just who they are but I'll let you think about that I'm not sure if I have I talked about them before I'm not sure I have so if you have any ideas about who the Ashen Empire, ah, sorry, Ashenborn Empire might be, say so in the comments. Show off your knowledge, if you already know, or if you don't, have a guess. I was going to sell dates. Yes, that is a good price. And because they're not at war, I kind of doubt they'll need mercenaries. Maybe I should join Sarleone or someone in the short term until the Fiertsvein actually start fighting someone. That's probably a good idea. Alright, who's actually at war with people is the main question. Sarleone would probably be my next choice. Just double check the Fiertsvein. Yeah, you're not at war with anyone. Bacchus, you're at war with Sarleone. I could, I could join the Empire. They're at war with two people. So plenty of opportunity to uh, fight stuff. I think I'll do that. <laughs> back and forth. Back and forth. Sorry about this. I'll try and keep it quick. At least we're getting a lot of training done. Speaking of training, how's our food supplies? The fire supplies are fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure the Empire will want some help. Ah! <laughs> Vietvain declared war on Dashar. Let's... Wait, does that mean Dashar is at war with everyone? No, not at war with Fitz, uh, Ravenstone or Sarleone. Okay, cool. We now need to find a lord. And apparently you don't have to catch them when they're in the castle. You can just get them in the field, so long as they like you. Oh, that's why I was talking to them in the castle, because we were fighting people at the time. Victus, dude. Hello. Yay, that is precisely the one I wanted. Marvellous. Okay, so we are now with the Fiertvein, and we are at war with the Shah. Which means we need to start raising some troops, so we will begin doing that. Sup Rizzi, Ambershorn. Hopefully with our Oh, Vakavian Renegade Slavers have landed near Valambre. Report to Siggy Stonehand, who was my father-in-law in previous games. We'll go and find him in a minute. Oh, we still haven't done this one. <laughs> we need to do that at some point. Um, Tiburana, where's that? Oh, it's on my way. Okay, cool. Where am I? Am I no more? Yes. No, I'm in Kulam. So we'll go to Javik's home first. In fact, they're probably gathering in Javik's home. Well, there's a massive army of Valkyries. Who are you? Talvor? Hakon? No, I'm not doing that right now. I don't know why I keep looking at arms. I'm quite happy with my sword right now. What am I doing? Do I have a die works here yet? I do. Let's chuck the dies that I have into here. That should keep you going cheaply for a while. I also need to set up some more. Uh, I'll do that in just a moment. Right, where is Sigmund? There. What's your special? I remember them being quite good. Oh, Vance Carrier, Giles. Mm -hmm. Hello! See, I probably won't remain close at hand. Simply because I still need to raise an army. My army is kind of pathetic right now. So we'll upgrade all of them. 
And I'm upgrading them as I go because I quite frankly need them to actually fight rather than just being stuck at recruits forever. Where are we going? Oh yeah, of course, we're at to Shar. Um, we could follow them for a bit of experience, but I don't think we'd gain much. No, we'll, we'll keep raising troops. I'm sorry, guys. We may join you later. So they'll be getting into fights, won't they? Ah. Two and four. Fourteen. Leslie leveled up. Good. What level are you now? Six. We're getting there. We want you to have intelligence, I think. And the faster healing speed is a very useful one to have. And you have leveled up. Interesting. You don't have any points in trainer. I'm going to put one in trainer so you actually, you know, train people. And power draw, probably. So you can use the bigger, more powerful bows later on. Yeah, probably. So that is strength, so you need more strength. Okay. And I can't increase your archery or your... No, I can increase two-handed weapons by one point. <laughs> okay. dokie. Onwards. Do, 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 do. We are getting quite slow. I thought you wanted to talk to me. Didn't you? Oh, you just... Could have sworn I got a thing which was he wanted to talk to me. Because, you know, I'm here. What's up? Who? If we could get our army to fight them, that would be kind of cool. Where are you going? You're actually following them? Are you suicidal? Yeah, apparently Lord Hrothgar the Fat is not just fat, he is also freaking stupid. Who's that? Hairy Breeks. You are berserk? No, Iron Hairs. Okay. That's still... stupid. <laughs> okay. You're doing a lot of damage, but there's still only, what, 86 of you versus 159. Yeah, that's not going to end well for you, I'm afraid. My relation with Elisa has decreased. Uh, increased, rather. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Dragmar, do you have any troops for me? You do! Huzzah! I'm also going to speak to the village elder, because I'm hoping I can do whatever quest you have. while next to the siege. And one cool thing is, when you accept the quest, you get uh, relations. Every time your relations points changes, you can then recruit people again. So you speak to them, get a quest, and then recruit. You can do it twice. Okay, so he's, he wants another task performed. And Gregory IV has got some mercenaries. Okay, so the two to Shah places I have around us equestrian. Janos 1 is still being built. We're getting mercenary payments, which almost cover our wages, so we are actually making a pretty healthy profit. Three at once. Ooh, this might be challenging, because I don't have pole arm skill. So we need to run somewhere where they can only come at us in smaller numbers. Which is probably here. Yikes. Run, 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 run. Phew. Because they're all clumped up like that, sometimes those fights can be quite challenging. Uh, we'll leave. Because... Dude bro wanted to talk to us. Where is he? There he is. You want me to get five heads of cattle? I think I can probably do that. Yo, Tragmar. <laughs> uh, I have to speak to the elder for that, don't I? Cattle. Five. Good. We then speak to the cattle, get them to follow us. 
And this is one of the best changes in this mod, is the cattle freaking follows you rather than having to, like, escort them around. So we just go past Sigmund, that quest is done, we then go and talk to him. Done. Nope. And actually made us a bit of money. Good stuff. And we'll continue training the peasants. Another request, of course. Oh, the army's leaving. Another three at a time. Maybe it's because of my decent trainer skill. I'm sure there is some kind of calculation behind getting three at once. Going this way. So yeah. Doop do doop do doo. Because I saw a little opening over here, which I'm hoping they will then go for one at a time. Oh, they went round. I need to try and kill you before the others get here. Oh, you split up. What a shame for you. Wait, block that. Love quarterstaffs. <laughs> Definitely my favourite weapon. Or oh, second favourite. Pole hammer first. And here we go, the fight. So we will tell you all to dismount and then charge. Oh yeah, of course, he had the Barkley Lancers. I was trying to work out who the other cavalry we had were. I know Nathal Nathalderand still has his. And someone on the forum suggested that we should use the cheats to level up um, myself. So then I can tell Nathalderand, or I can steal his horse and then continue, but it's not that big a deal. I'm giving an order I'd have to give anyway. The only thing that I might be doing is messing up his being an archer versus being an infantryman versus being a cavalry or basically just doing what the hell he wants to do because that's what he seems to enjoy doing right now but whatever I can do with it it's fine I'm purposefully letting my guys get a bit of experience so they can do the kills I'm still slightly ahead of them experience wise this was mostly about helping the village that we increase relations and then can start recruiting people faster Okay, good. Well done. Nope, you need it more than I do. And then because relations improved, we can recruit volunteers once more. And there we go. Now that army is running past. Is that only part of the army? Yes. Oh, there's a fight going on. We'll jump in on this. Really? So half your army abandons you just as you get into a fight against 800? Typical. So who's fighting here? We've got... No, oh, Valdus and Stonehand. This is a fight we definitely want to join, because we want the king to like us more. And we obviously want Stonehand to like us more, because he's a duke. So our army stinks. It's rubbish. But their army is quite good. Obviously, because we have a king here, so we're going to get lots of the elite royal troops. Uh, so we'll tell you to dismount, and then follow me. And this is stuttering a bit, unfortunately. Probably because I'm playing with a battle size of 800. These fights will get pretty big. <clears throat> right, and there is the Dashar army over there. I didn't actually look too closely to see who we're fighting against. I might reduce the battle size a bit. This is really quite stuttery. Maybe I'll go down to 600. Still playable, though. It's definitely still playable. But, you know, I want it to be smooth, especially as I'm recording. Uh, do we want the flank? Yeah, we probably do want to take the flank. Because then we can absorb their charge. So currently I do just have everyone following me right now. We will probably take this ledge here. Is that a river? It is. Interesting. Okay, that's changed the whole dynamic. They have a whole ton of cavalry. Well, to be fair, so do we. So this river is really going to mess things up. Whoever has the better infantry and archers here, I think, will win. Well, except that we outnumber them by, what was it, 100. Ah, uh, none of my guys are going to have very good defences. Yeah, this is a problem. 
Okay. Infantry. There. Cavalry. There. Archers. Archers. There. Oh, and our cavalry is now charging straight through us to try and intercept their cavalry, which is charging our flank, as I hoped they would. We are just going to hold our position for the short term. Hopefully kill one or two of theirs, like that guy, who got in the way of my sword, very unfortunately for him. The cavalry are going to have their running skirmish, while meanwhile the infantry close. Is our infantry moving? No. So we will hold position. We may try and get our archers into a better location though, so maybe... Oh, our infantry are charging. Okay, so we'll put our archers here. We'll tell our infantry and our cavalry to charge. Okay. We seem to have dealt with their cavalry pretty well over there. Ah, just missed him. Okay, hopefully I can start paying more attention to killing stuff. That's a wind rider. I actually really rate the wind riders. I think they're really cool. They could do with a bit of extra love. Who's this guy? He's a bit shiny. Nothing I can do. Oh, oh, oh. Come back, come back. I only want to hit you. Ta! Ah! <laughs> Too many horses, and don't know who to hit. Not you one of ours. Whoops, sorry dude. Oi! Come back here. Ah. I think we've... Yeah, we've annihilated them. Their whole line's collapsed. It's just going to be a couple of cavalry running around. Yeah, we still have like 200 in the field, they have two. <laughs> well, we did basically nothing in that fight, but that's okay. That, that was the first big fight we've been in. We will have got a couple of relations with these guys. We added numbers, if nothing else. We did lose a man, though. One of our trained militia. That was a crushing victory. Very good. Cunning of Aldous increased by two, and we will speak to... He got away and he got away. Uh, you can have them. Anything good? Not really. Eh, some good stuff, I guess. Right, and now we want to speak to Siggy. Because we thought Siggy was really beginning to like us. Do I still have a thing you want to talk to me? No, that... I don't know, is that a bug or something? It keeps appearing and then disappearing? I'm not sure. Are you guys going to join this fight? Is my next question. Does not really look like it. Oh, yeah, Siggy is. Oh, if Conning of Aldus joined that, that would then be 650 versus 1,000. I wouldn't actually be surprised if we could win that. But as it stands now, no. Valdus, you coward! <laughs> yeah, I'm not joining either. Oh, they're making a break for it. And if this small fight splits off, that's one we might be able to join in. How many of you are there? 142. You know what? I reckon we could take that. Haji Khan, you are nothing special, and you are also nothing special. And Adultooth, you have got nothing special. Um... You're just travelling, you're not trying to fight. This would bring everyone in. Let's do it. Let's start this fight. 252, bearing in mind mine are kind of rubbish against 215. So this is probably going to be a fairly close fight, to be quite honest. So we will tell us all to dismount, or we'll stand closer. This is already noticeably less laggy, though it is still a little bit stuttery. We'll tell our infantry to advance. And our cavalry, archers. and our archers. We're going to try and take that hill right there. Come on. Wait, stop. That hill. I was pressing right back. Mouse button instead of the left. My bad. Where's the enemy? Forming up nice lines. <coughs> oh, 
let's actually get you all following me just while we go up this hill. Berserker with the fixed textures. I mean fixed because we'd given them the wrong one or something, so we're still looking too much like Wolf Bode. Or well, we had a unique one based off the Wolf Bode armor, which was for actual Berserkers, which is what they're wearing now. Wolf Bode is supposed to be unique. Okay, let's stick our archers right there. We'll put our infantry there. And our cavalry there. Infantry. It's not that. Stand closer. And stand closer. Okay, good stuff. Here come the troops. Too bad these militia don't have shields yet. I think the next level they do. And then there'd be a decent shield wall again. But they're not yet. We don't have many archers. In fact, the enemy archers are doing more. Oh, here comes the cavalry charge. Splat. And their cavalry are going to try and attack our flank, so we are going to protect it. This was actually a rather good move. And this is how we can contribute. <laughs> so let's see what damage we can do. And bear in mind that my army is pretty good at killing cavalry being, you know, infantry-centric. These Scorpion Assassins, I think they are. So we will be taking a, a whole ton of damage here. Scorpion Assassins are still ridiculously strong. But not strong enough. We have successfully defended our archers. Good stuff. Okay, cool. I think because we foiled that charge, our archers are now safe. So we are well ahead of them. Let's just do a full charge now. Otherwise our crossbows and our archers will be out of range. And this is just the infantry grind. Probably the two best infantry armies in the game. Tashar and the uh, Beardsmane. Though Empire infantry armies are nothing to... Uh, um, shout against. Actually, would Empire armies be better than Dashar? Not sure. Infantry armies, I mean, not generally. So one of the ways that we made Dashar armies effective is it used to be if you used a shield and a spear at the same time, your spear would get a massive damage penalty. We've removed that, so spear units are actually quite good, like infantry spear units. They still have troubles hitting stuff, because the AI with piercing weapons, they're not very good. Much better with slashing, which is why the Dashar Saber units seem to do so well. It's because they're all slashing. Hi. She got 18 kills. Ow! How's that? Victory! Is that Roland? Ha! <laughs> you can always tell it's Roland. That's funny. Cool. That was a good victory. We did lose 17, but that's not altogether surprising. Lost 179 to their 215. Still a victory, though. I yield to you. I think that means you are Marshal. Which increases relations and honour. It's the honour I'm after mostly here. We could get some Empire troops. I think I'm going to take these. I'm not going to bother with the horsemen. The, the Legionnaire and the Knight? Sure, why not? Any items? Probably not, because we didn't actually contribute that much. It's not too bad. Worth money more than anything. Now I think we should withdraw. We've, we've done what we can. Oh, we should speak to these guys though. Make sure that we get our relations bonus with them for having been in the same battle. And with you. Again. <laughs> Man, Siggy's going to absolutely love us by the end of this war. Come back! Oh, you're pretty quick. There you go. It's up to eight now. 
So apparently he has an excellent personality, which is very good to know. Anyway, I think that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please do uh, like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. Things are going to get interesting now. Uh, we've joined a faction. We're going to get involved in the big wars. We're definitely going to go on a mission to improve the size of our own army. I'll do these levels real quick. Uh, three, two. Sorry, the fox needs more agility. And more looting. Crossbows. Done. Okay, so yeah. Um, please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. If you have any tips or advice, please do leave a comment. As you know, I do like interacting with you guys. I always try and respond where I can. And if like any really good advice or whatever comes up, I will actually give you a shout out and give you credit for doing so. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.